Hey, beautiful souls. Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome back. I'm divinely destined, and I have been divinely guided back here to give you this tarot at the dark. If you are new to my channel, please take a minute, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your love and support. I hope that you guys are having a good day, a good evening. If things are not going so well, you know, you just got to hang in there and know that you're not alone. If you feel hopeless tonight, you're feeling suicidal or depressed, please reach out and seek assistance and help. Just know that the angels are with you. God is with you. Ancestors are with you. Okay, there's there are crisis workers that are ready to talk to you at a moment's notice. Okay, never be afraid to reach out and ask for help. Okay, because the spiritual battles are real. Okay, I don't know who needed to hear that. But, you know, you are loved. You are valued. There is a purpose. There is a plan that God has for your life. Okay, God says he wished that we prosper. Yes, he doesn't want us to be sad and crying and miserable and fighting battles that we're not even meant to fight. He tells us to bring the battles to him because he's able to fight these things. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but of things of the spirit, okay? Yes, take it to God in prayer. Yeah, just say, Dad, hey, I need you here. I'm struggling here. I need your assistance. Can you please help? And God is there. Yes, I feel like you have a particular purpose and or mission here. It's different than your mother's or your sister's, okay? Possibly different than any anything from anybody you've ever known. It's uniquely your own purpose here. You may be looking for a deeper meaning, like, or a purpose. Like, why am I here? Why does God have me here? I, I never could get it right. Like, why am I here? Okay, you may be trying to discover your life's purpose here. Yeah, part of your mission is to work on the spiritual realm. Okay, some of you guys have spiritual talents and gifts that you're meant to share with the world. Okay, perhaps your gift is to be a spiritual teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, you may work with crystals. Okay, you may you may be someone that is a prophet or a prophetess, someone that can predict future. God may God may give you certain visions and dreams. Okay, perhaps He wants you to share these gifts and talents and dreams with the world. Yes, you're definitely on a spiritual journey here. You may be frustrated tonight with all the delays, the slow results, things just moving at a snail's pace for you. Just remember. Any, any pace is a good pace. As long as you get up every day and try, honey, you're doing good. Okay, give yourself credit for the progress that you have made thus far. Remember to be patient in your suffering or be patient as you go through suffering or long suffering. Okay, you may have went through a season of long suffering. And let's face it, most chosen people go through a really tough, you know, period of suffering. Okay. God wants us to be strong throughout the controversies and battles that we fight. You know, be patient, honey. Be patient. Be patient. You cannot, don't, cannot rush perfection. Like a good bottle of wine or a good Louis Vuitton shoe or a nice handbag. Okay, these things take time to perfect. And just like, just like all those beautiful things that take time to perfect, there are certain things that take time to manifest and be perfected in your life okay be patient with yourself okay there's also people that have deliberately been doing things to hinder your progress to block your progress or to stop your progress or to slow down your progress okay yeah i feel like you've been through a lot of setbacks okay you've been through a lot of controversies or you've had you've had a lot of excuse me you've had a lot of unjust things happen in your life You've had a lot of unjust things happen. Yeah. I'm definitely picking up on the energies of someone that has not spoken to their father in years. Okay. You may not have spoken to your daddy for the last 20 years. Okay. He may still be alive. And I feel like this dad has definitely been reaching out to you spiritually. Okay. He may be trying to get you to come to him to get you to call him. Yeah, if this is not a father, this could be like a mother or auntie or sibling, okay? It could be a friendship, too. Yeah, you have a very powerful spiritual friendship with someone, okay? That's like a soulmate. You guys are good friends. You may need to reach out and call them. You guys may have not spoken or talking to each other in a while here. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. The end of despair is here, okay? God knows how much we can handle. He knows how much we can take, okay? Yes. The angelic realm is aware. Yeah. The ancestors are aware. It looks like your crown chakra is very active. Your third eye is super activated, honey. Super, super activated. Wow. I'm hearing you're getting direct downloads. You're getting direct downloads and messages from the spiritual realm directly into your crown chakra. You know, you may be like me. I get my, my downloads right before I go to sleep. Okay, you may be someone that gets downloads as soon as they wake up or while they're driving. Okay, while they're cooking or something like that. Okay, the, the angelic realm, they definitely get downloads to you. To you. And that's the damn truth. Okay, I've been channeling the, channeling the great state of Texas. Okay, you may be from Texas. You may want to move to Texas. You may have stayed in Texas. I'm here in Fort Knox, Texas. I'm also picking up on like an air base or an army base in Texas or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Aerochromatics. I don't know what that means, okay? Wow. I see angel number 66. Angel number 66. You have been here before. This is not your first rodeo here, okay? You may be like a seasoned veteran that has definitely been here before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The ancestors are saying like they chose you to come. Okay. They chose you to be here because there are certain, there are certain abilities that you have to heal the family bloodline. Okay. It stops with you. Okay. You're the one that stops it. Okay. It stops with you. Hmm. I see reward and recognition coming in. Yeah. You're at, yeah. You're at, you're at the end of a difficult phase or situation with the number nine. The number nine speaks of cycles getting ready to be wrapped up or finished out. You're at the end of a difficult, tough cycle. You're getting ready to move on, dear. Okay. You see? Don't be afraid to open the door to a new beginning. Sometimes it can be scary to step out there, to step out of your comfort zone. It can be a little terrifying, but if God is opening... Excuse me, beautiful souls. If God is opening the door for you to go, go. Okay. We have been watching <laughs> The Bride of Chucky, The Seed of Chucky. You may like the movie or the franchise Chucky. Okay. We've been watching Chucky quite a bit here. I think my favorite Chucky movie is the very first one. Look, I got angel number 666. Mm. Wow. You and a twin flame or you and a soulmate, you didn't get it right in a previous lifetime. And you guys are meant to get it right this lifetime. If you don't get it right this lifetime, you may skip a lifetime and you may get it right then, okay? That's why it's imperative to do the soul's work or to work on yourself. When you heal yourself and when you work on yourself, it, it, gets, the, it gets the twin flame on board, okay? It gets them on board. Your dreams are coming true, honey. Mm. Okay. Kennedy Space Center is coming through. I believe that's in Florida. You may like, you know, the spaceships. You like to track when and, you know, the astronauts go to space. That may be of an interest to you. Okay, but I definitely see your dreams are certainly coming true. Mm. Light codes, DNA activation, and something of those sorts. These are the words that I'm hearing. You may be a hierarchy um, twin flame here, okay? You may be someone that has powerful rank in the spiritual realm. Yes. You need to pray more. You need to meditate more. I got angel number 666 and angel number angel number 999. You're definitely going through some changes. Perhaps, you know, now is the time before you begin the leg of this new journey. You may be a Libra. Okay, something significant could be happening for you in Libra season. Libra season is September, October. Yeah. While you wait for this door to be open, this new door to be open, Get more balanced, okay? Get more balanced. Pray more. Meditate more. Get closer to God. Get closer to your spiritual team, okay? Get closer to the angels. Get closer to the ascended masters. Get closer to yourself, okay? Discover what you want moving forward, okay? Yeah, you may be feel, you may be in a situation where you feel alone. Yeah. Yeah. You may be under. You may be. You may just be turning twenty five. Or you may be over the age of 35 watching this particular message today. 
you feel alone you're seeking you're seeking or you're looking for a more deeper meaning it came out earlier you see mm -hmm. i'm hearing some people may um, be scouting or needing you okay part of your mission is to show people and teach people that they can overcome you can overcome it i've overcame it you can overcome it okay you could get through this tough battle it's possible you may be someone that god uses as an inspiration and a motivation for someone else okay for someone else mm. yeah your testimony you may be you may you may need you may be a you may be an author you may need to write a book about your journey okay you may be an artist or entertainer or singer and god is saying use your voice speak to the people sing to the people let the people know about your testimony and what you've been through because I'm pretty sure that there's someone that is going through it or has or will be going through exactly what you went through and you are that motivation okay you're that inspiration to help them get through it okay you know how like a good song will make you cry okay hearing a right word at the right time can touch the soul and help a person heal you may have healing abilities you may be a shaman okay you may be a shapeshifter okay you have spiritual gifts and talents here no doubt okay yes there's no doubt okay i'm hearing out with the old and with the new out with the old and with the new embrace the new okay embrace the newness that god has for you yeah you may be someone that don't like change you don't like when stuff is thrust upon you and you don't like change it could be you know it could, excuse me beautiful one can you turn that down it could be something that terrifies you, okay? Stepping out there on that limb. But you know, you gotta step out there on that limb. If you want, if you want change to happen, baby, okay? You gotta be the change that you're looking for. I know it sounds so corny, but it's true. Somebody else needs to hear your testimony and your story, okay? Point blank, period. We got new vitality. I see a nurse or a doctor, someone in the medical field here. Yeah, physical therapist. This could be something that you do. Mm. You may have a soft, soothing voice. Yeah. Mm. I'm also getting a message from the ancestors and the angels, okay? It's like your mom or your dad or an ancestor may come to you with a very soothing, soft, very soft voice. Okay, don't be afraid. Okay? Don't be afraid. Yeah, just let yourself be. Just let yourself be. You can't rush perfection and you should not want to rush the progress of what God is doing in your life. Don't be afraid of taking steps that needs to be taken. Sometimes it can be terrifying, but if you don't take the steps, you're never going to get to where you're supposed to get to. You may you may be an artist, okay? You may be an artist. Mm, you got a testimony and someone needs to hear it. You may feel like it's over. You don't have a purpose. Why am I here? Well, guess what? Someone needs to hear your story, Jer. As part of your mission. We got joy and stability. God takes care of his own. You see? He takes care of you. He's going to take care of you. No doubt about it. You're going to have everything that you need. Okay? When you're doing your purpose, God always make a way for you to have what you want or what you need as you do your mission. It's like God never gives you the gift without the ability to have the things that you need to operate effectively and fluently in your gift that he gives you. Remember that. He's not going to give you a gift and, and not give you the, the resources that you need. Okay, it's like when you start a job. They're not going to give you they're not going to give you the job without giving you the resources to do the job, okay? And if they are doing that, then perhaps that's not where you're supposed to be working. <sighs> okay? <laughs> release the win, okay? Re release it, honey. Win. Release the wins. Release the whys. Release how how, when, where. Release all that because it's coming in. Wow. I'm hearing the name Lisa. Hey, Lisa. I hope you're having a good day. Mm. Mm. Someone may be releasing a connection or, you know, releasing their fears, Lisa, in order to come to you or call you or get the strength or the courage to reach out to you. Okay? You may be someone that likes to be alone okay you may have virgo in your chart you may be a virgo okay you just got to have time for yourself to recharge 
You may be someone like an empath, okay? Some, like empaths, they need to have time to themselves because they have to recharge their batteries, okay? Especially if you deal with a lot of people on a daily basis. You got to get by yourself sometimes to recharge your batteries. I see that here. Remember, sacrifices got to be made, okay? Cry a little bit now and laugh later, okay? Let them laugh at you now while they cry later, okay? You, you do what you got to do with me. People may, be, people may be picking at you, laughing at you, calling you all kind of names, calling you weird or crazy or what happened to her, what happened to him. You're not weird. What is weird anymore, okay? What is normal anymore, okay? You're doing your own damn thing. You're on your own journey here. Mm. You're on your own path here. Yeah. I'm seeing something about livestock, okay? You may, be, you may have been born and raised on a farm. Where you may, that may be your dream, okay? To own your own farm, okay? To have to have a few good horses, race horses, okay? I've been channeling Kentucky and Tennessee and Texas. Actually, Texas and Kentucky, I've been channeling these two places. Pay attention when you see the rainbow because that's the symbol that God gives us to let us know that he's in covenant with us and that he's, Certain things are going to be delivered on his end. Your job is to trust his plan and his timing. Don't question it too much, okay? Just keep keep getting up and taking the steps that you need to take, okay? Got to do the rest. He, you know, you know how they say you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make it. You can't make him drink it, okay? Like God could, he could lead you there, but he can't. He can't make you, okay? So you want God to do this and you want God to do that, but you got to do your part too, babe, okay? You got to get up every day and make sure you do your part too. Yeah. What are you scared of? Yeah. What are you scared of? You may be a truck driver. You may drive long distances for work, or you may like to travel across the country. And that could be part of your mission here, to travel and teach God's word or live out his particular mission that he has for you here. Mm-hmm. I'm here in Alaska. You may live in Alaska. Okay. Spread your wings. Make. Spread your wings. Make the necessary sacrifices that you need to make. And everything will be okay. You got to take that step. God can't force you to take it. Okay. Yeah. You know how they say you got to get up and go get it. I think one of the richest men in the world. I don't know if it's Elon Musk or the Tesla guy. One of them. They said, you know. If you really want to be successful, you know, you really want to be rich or you really want to be wealthy, do something for six months. Do it for six months consistently, okay? You will see results, okay? You got to show a consistent, you know, you got to show consistency. Yes. You make a little progress and you, and, you, and you slack up or you get lazy. No, get up, baby. You got to show consistent progress. Mm-hmm. Wow. Don't let nobody play with you either, okay? <laughs> Don't let nobody play with you because people will play with you. People will shit all on your plans. Like you can have such a great plan or, you know, you got some great things that you want to accomplish and do and you, you think you got some good support behind you and you go, you go tell your mom or your best friend and you're kind of surprised at their negativity towards it. That's why it's best to be quiet about it until you achieve it because everybody's not going to be so happy for you. Okay, they're just not. The universe is saying, hey, if you could believe it, you can achieve it. You may be the baby sister of your family, okay? And you may also be like the rebel, okay? The black sheep. The one that kind of went their own damn way and did their own damn thing. You may not be close to your family, okay? Mm, the crown chakra crumb, okay? Don't accept their crumbs either. The crown chakra comes out again. You get direct messages from your spiritual team. Point blank, period. Okay? Don't forget to be a cheerful giver. Okay, too much. Okay, I'm hearing to whom too much is given, much is required. Okay? Don't forget to open up your, your hands. God blesses us to be a blessing. Remember that. Share the love with other people. It ain't always about giving back financially. Sometimes, hey, it's, it's, it's just about sharing sharing your testimony and letting people know that they are loved and God loves them. Okay. 
period. We got reward and recognition coming in twice. Mmm. Reward and I'm picking up a, like our father and mother here. Your mother and your father here. Okay. It looks like he adored your mother. He adored her. We got detached. Detached. Your mother may have crossed over before your father. It looks like she's still connected to him or she waited for him or she will be there for him when it's his time. I see that. Okay. We got universe. You ain't out here by yourself. You ain't out here by yourself. You got some people around you that you better watch too. Because I told you, everybody ain't going to be happy for you. Ask God to give you the spirit of discernment to help you know who you can trust and who you can't trust. People will show you if you pay attention. Yeah. Some of you guys may have kids that crossed over. Okay. Like me. I have two that crossed over. Okay. They watching out for you. You may have a spirit baby that's watching out for you too. I see a single person watching this reading. Okay. You living your best single life. Or you're content and you're happy with being single. It doesn't scare you to be single. You're not. It, you're used to being single. Or you, you're independent and self-sufficient. You know how some people, they can't be single? You know, they're always in and out of relationships. I feel like people like that are not comfortable with themselves. Okay? They're always trying. They're always looking for that in other people. It's like something, something that they're missing in themselves, they try to find in other people. That's why they jump from relationships to relationships. And until they heal with their definitely missing in themselves they're gonna keep having having failed relationships i feel like if you're watching this particular message being single is not terrifying to you you may have been single for two years three years ten years seven years it's not terrifying you're comfortable being in your own skin you're comfortable being who you are you could be single the rest of your damn life that does not scare you okay some of you guys are not settling for another bad match <laughs> I don't blame you. You may have had an encounter with a narcissist that totally changed how you view people. It made you not want to date, okay? It may have turned your, your heart cold. Yeah, there's something about your vehicle, okay? Yeah. Don't forget to eat your pineapples, ladies, okay? Yeah. You may be someone that's so codependent on your kids, okay? You're having a hard time, you know, the thought of them going off to college and marrying scares you because you don't know what kind of life you're going to have without them. That energy is here. You may have a Capricorn that's addicted to you, okay? But they may be toxic as hell. Okay, that, that person could have made you not want to date nobody for a while, okay? Or they had heavy Capricorn in their chart. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're being tested with a situation right now, and let's just face it, if you're a part of the collective and if you're watching... If you're watching my reading, I'm pretty sure that you are a part of the collective. And most of us in the collective are being tested here. Mm -hmm. You may be someone that is searching for something. Okay. Seek, seek ye first God, no matter what. He comes first. Everything else will fall into place. Okay. You may be like a techie or a bookworm. You like to soak up knowledge. Okay. You like to learn. Mm -hmm. You like to discover things. Like, people could tell you stuff, but it's like, you like to go research it for yourself to make sure, okay? You may be going back to school, you may be a teacher, or you got some sort of inspiration at a young age from someone that inspired you, and you're doing what they do. Now, make, yeah, take, okay, I'm here, make that fit, that, yeah, that resonates, uh, yeah, that's for somebody, okay? Yeah, like, you may have watched the trainer at SeaWorld, and you were inspired by them. And you was like, oh, I want to do that, okay? You later, you later became a trainer. Okay, take it how it resonates. Wow. There's going to be some positive changes, dear. Your wishes will come true. Unexpected happiness. Okay. Wipe away those tears, dear. I'm telling you, the people that are laughing at you now are going to be crying later. It's okay to cry now because you're going to be laughing later. And it's okay to cry and be sad. That's normal human experiences and or emotions. But when it becomes a problem where you can't get out of bed or you can't cope or you can't function, it's very likely that depression has set in and it's time to get some help about it, okay? It's pretty, pretty okay and pretty normal to seek help for depression, okay? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. We got solar plexus. 
Your solar plexus, it could be blocked. Okay, your solar plexus is located, I believe, above the belly button. You know, you carry so much inside. And, you know, that could cause your solar plexus to become blocked, honey. Yeah. You may have IBM. I think that's like, or something like that. Irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome or something like that. Very, your stomach could be very, you know, weak and fragile. You may have Virgo in your chart. You have a lot of Virgo. Yeah, there's a Virgo watching this particular message. You know, Virgo rules the intestines. And, you know, Virgo's stomachs can get upset easily. If they're, if they're, if they're, excuse me, beautiful souls. If a Virgo is sad, you know, they feel it in their gut. If a Virgo is happy, they feel it in their gut. They feel extreme emotions in their stomachs. Okay, so if you have a Virgo husband or a Virgo wife or a Virgo child, okay, don't be alarmed at this because Virgos feel everything in the extreme in their stomach. One way to arouse a Virgo is to caress their belly. Rub it. Okay, rub that stomach. Yeah, rub that belly. That turns Virgo on. Okay. Yes, Virgo season is up next. Let your light shine. Okay, let your light shine. Your mom may have died when you were long, when you were young. She may have had lung cancer. Okay, she died when you were young. That deeply affected you. That deeply affected you here. She's with you. You often look for her when you were young, or you still be you still may be searching for your mother now. Okay, your mother is with you. You may have been refusing to see that she's with you. How can she be with me? How can she leave you? Okay. She may have left your dad when you were young. Okay. I see no older than 13. No, older, like 13 to 15 years old. She may have left your father or she may have passed while you were relatively young. Okay. This made you kind of closed off and defensive towards people. Okay. You were looking for that nurturing figure. Okay. That safety net. Okay, that person that makes you feel warm and safe and protected. Okay, when she passed away, it kind of, excuse me, beautiful. My kids are watching Chucky. <laughs> when she passed away, it kind of took that safety net. You know, when you dream about a deceased parent, they're letting you know that they're still connected with you. You know, you know often when we lose a mother, we kind of lose our identity. And the mother, the mother will appear to us in a dream and let us know that she's still connected and that you're okay and she's still with you. Yeah, you may have built up a very strong, tough exterior and defense mechanism to protect you, okay? Mm-hmm. But you may be very sensitive and soft on the inside. It looks like you're a powerful manifester, okay? Your manifesting abilities are A1. You are a powerful alchemist. An alchemist is someone that knows how to manifest. And don't be stressing out about oh, why did she get her manifestation so quick and why is mine going so slow? Everybody's journey is different, okay? I see the energies of a powerful man that is guarding and watching over you. This could be an ancestor, okay? Native American ancestor, okay? He's a part of your bloodline or lineage, okay? This could also be like an ancient ancient warrior that watches over you as well an ancient spirit and or a soul that watches over you dang you got some gifts from him you got some gifts this could like okay this could be like a dad or like an uncle okay or someone you that died way before you were born you may have never known this person but you may have your mom may have talked about him or your dad okay or you may, you, may, you may have done some family history or research and only to discover that you had this powerful ancestor that is with you. I see you going from hopeless and sad, refusing to see that you're still loved, okay? God loves you. Your ancestor loves you. Your angels love you. I see you going from helpless, feeling sad, to refusing possibly to let anybody in on an emotional level because you didn't know how to deal with being hurt, okay? And you didn't know how to nurture, okay? Or you, you were missing that nurturing. So you probably lashed out. Or you didn't know how to show love at some point. Okay? We got throat chakra. Yes. I believe Taurus rules the throats. Okay? Go see what Taurus, Taurus is in your chart. Okay? My ascendant is in Taurus. Okay? You may have a good speaking voice or a singing voice. Yeah. Excuse
excuse me yeah you need to speak up there's something that the ancestors want you to speak up about perhaps it's time to speak up and let someone know how you feel about them perhaps it's time to speak up and step up perhaps it's time to stop letting people walk all over you perhaps it's time for you to speak up and and, and, and stop settling for less and start you know treating people how they treat you I'm gonna go ahead and close out this particular message we got movement choices movement choices and decisions accelerate emotion things are taking off things are getting ready to take off the message is to get ready stay ready and don't be afraid to step out there it can be frightening but that's okay god is never going to lead you somewhere and just leave you okay he's never going to leave you desolate and without okay he's not going to do that he's not the author of confusion okay he's not going to send you people or anyone that's going to keep you damn confused okay mm -hmm. listen there are ancestors that are connecting with you. Point blank period. You may be a star seed. You, re you resonate with the night energy and the star energy. Yeah. There a certain constellation or something like that. You've had a hard life. There's a man that's watching me. He's had a hard, difficult journey. He may have been unexpressive and afraid to open up. He didn't know how to open up. He was never taught or shown how to be open and vulnerable. You know, that nurturing figure, his mom, she left him or she passed at a young age. That left an open wound and a vault. Wow. That was Michael. You know, he didn't know how to open up. He just threw a teddy bear at me, by the way. He didn't know how to open up, okay, or express how he feels due to being left without that void or that protection okay mm. yeah yep i see a man mm -hmm. mm. it's kind of like he may have had a father that tried to overcompensate for not having his wife or the mother figure in his son's life okay you know or he may have had a dad that was tough you know real hard on him it made him tough and cold, you know? But deep down, he's soft. He's soft and emotional. He's been protecting his heart. But he's broken some hearts. Yeah. Mm hmm He has some opportunities for some material and spiritual prosperity. I feel like this could be like a twin flame. Someone that you could later marry. This could be your soulmate. Okay. He may like to stay at nice hotels. He may live in a nice, beautiful community, or this is what he's supposed to have, okay? He's supposed to have material and um, financial wealth. Yeah, look, you see? He's supposed to be wealthy here. He may have to make tough business decisions. There's a lot of energies of a man. You see this? There's a man here. Yeah. He may have to make tough decisions related to his family his work his life and it has not always been easy he's in the middle of uh, transformation okay he's extremely passionate this person could be a twin flame this could be your soulmate here okay yeah he has faced his darkest fears and he knows that there are some decisions that has to be made point blank period decisions have to be made Mm -hmm. yeah I feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you they're going to be coming with a child at least one okay they may have daddy issues the daddy may have been overbearing and tough okay it caused him to be a dictator or to dictate and order people around and to boss people and be dominant towards his loved ones he saw his daddy do it okay yeah he may be confronting some childhood issues related to his daddy he may be scared to reach out to his daddy or he needs to, you know, talk to God, write a letter, connect to his father, especially if his father is still alive. Okay. Even if his dad is not still alive, he needs to just, you know, speak openly and just speak to his ancestor, his dad, and just say, I release, I release all the pain. You didn't know any better. So I'm not going to continue to hold this grudge against you for the way you treated me and my siblings or my mom. I release 
any anger towards you at this time. Okay, release it. Release it to release it to um to God, to this ancestor. Once he releases this energy towards his body, the healing process, you know what I'm saying? He can start the healing process. Yeah. He may have left home at an early age. He may have did things his daddy didn't approve of. Okay, or his daddy or his daddy didn't approve of his life. You know, some some parents are like that. No matter what you do, it's never damn good enough. Like, damn, you could be the president. And the daddy hardly ever recognizes it, okay? Sometimes you got parents that secretly be jealous, okay? So something is going on with your twin flames daddy tonight, okay? Yeah, you may have daddy issues. Yeah. Of some sort like that, okay? Yeah. Pray for him. Pray for her. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular message. And if you want to book me, okay? If you guys want to book me for a private reading, all that information is in the description box below. Have a fantastic Saturday. Sun Have a fantastic Saturday, Friday, Monday, whenever you see this particular message. Just pray for me. I'm, I'm over here with Michael, okay? <laughs> pray. I pray for y'all. Y'all pray for me. We pray for each other. You have a fantastic night. God bless.